All right, it's always a nice day when a bad person is having a bad time. And nobody deserves more bad times than probably uh, Jeremy here from The Quartering. Uh, Jeremy is, as you can see, with his thousand-yard stare, the kind of stare that only a, a combat marine, after he got back from the harsh fields of Basra, uh, can really attain. And, and this, this meme war veteran uh, has, has like lost so much of his spirit because Papa Elon has disappointed him. But I'll let him explain because um, his sweet, delicious, juicy tears uh, sustain me. Uh, like a like a vampire, yeah, yeah. I'm like a I'm like a tears vampire. Anyway, here we go. Now a lot of people, you know, it seems like um, a lot of people have some issues with. Uh huh. Uh, you know, it seems like when I cover Twitter or Elon making bad decisions, people are less interested in it. Okay. They, they you know, they they don't want to see it. I don't know, or if or they already knew. Many I see in the comments all the time, people are like, bro, I told you so. Or, yeah. you know, I knew it, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got sucked in early, too. I actually thought Elon Musk cared about free speech. He doesn't. No, no, nobody does. Nobody does. Not like you want them to. I, it's, and this is a, it's a harsh reality for a lot of people to have to come to terms with. Also, why is your overlay moved over? I don't think anybody on mine can see it. But I can see it. There's like these weird gaps. Fix, fix your shit, Jeremy. Fix your shit. Anyway, um, look. Everybody's gonna have a different tailored experience on the internet. It depends on what you're looking for. And this notion of like, well, freeze peach, freeze peach, freeze peach. Uh, it's great. It's a great goal and everything. But um, trusting that somebody who is overwhelmingly interested in accumulating more money, more wealth, more power, and more attention than anything else, is going to have this altruistic concept of free speech that you believe in and will adhere to it, is very naive. Very, very naive. I should point out at this, at this, at this moment, <clears throat> there's a man in Saudi Arabia who is going to be executed by the state for his tweets. And Elon is not going to do anything about that because the people who are going to kill him are, I think, the second biggest investor in him buying Twitter to begin with. No, he doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about your free speech. He, doesn't, he never did. What are you doing? He bought Twitter to make money. Just like anyone else does. No, he did not buy Twitter to make money. He's not making any money. He bought Twitter because he can't control himself. He's a cringe lord, attention starved little boy. But whatever. Is it a freer speech platform now than it was before? I can't actually even say yes. People are still getting banned permanently. Sure, there are more things you can talk about. Maybe the N word. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, the JQ. Yeah, yeah, no, I see it all the time. I see it all the time. If you don't go to following, if you go to the for you, uh, at least once a day, I'll see like some straight up overt racist shit, like wild stuff. You know, um, you know, medical stuff and things of that nature. Medical stuff. But for the most part, people are still getting banned. Shadow bans are absolutely still happening. And um, and yesterday they announced that they're reopening their trust and safety department. You yep. know, the department that worked with the federal government to actively infringe on Americans' First Amendment rights will now... And also to stop all of the, the kitty, you know, stuff, right? You know, that stuff that you guys seem to really care about, but you don't want to have a trust and safety board to, you know, enforce that sort of thing. Kind of weird, a little sussy, I don't know. Now, a new terms and conditions for Twitter is even more offensive. Oh. And we're going to get into that. Are you offended? Right after a quick word from this video sponsor. No, 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 no. Uh, Jesus Christ, how long is your goddamn sponsor? Your sponsor read is like a minute? <sighs> Lock loads more content. La, la, la. Twitter can now harvest your biometric information, including fingerprint, face recognition, and eye tracking data. As Musk's site quietly updates its terms and conditions for, quote, safety 
purposes. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. The social media platform, formerly known as Twitter, can now harvest your biometric data and DNA. Yeah. A new update, quietly added to the platform's privacy policy, says that X now has permission to harvest its users' fingerprints, retinal scans, voice and face recognition, and keystroke patterns. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing is, uh, it's pretty spooky because they are... They're overtly stating that they're going to take biometric data, which is pretty wild. But, you know, things like uh, your phones are always listening to you. They're always trying to pick up on some kind of marketing it it can sell to you. Uh, It tracks your patterns, behaviors, like all these apps do this. They all do this. But your fingerprints and retinal scans is a bit further than I thought they would. That is... Uh, a little, a little sussy. It is kind of crazy. Yeah, definitely not worried at all about Twitter being responsible for all that date, for all that data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, this is twenty-four hours. Especially because Elon, uh, he shredded, absolutely shredded uh, their data security team. It's, uh, it's great. Or is after. And by the way, where are all the critics of the Trust and Safety Department coming out on Twitter and roasting Elon for it? You know why they're not? And I'm just going to put it out. No, I can't say all of them. No. Okay. 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 I can't say all of them, but I will say this. The monetization on Twitter, if non-intentionally, is clearly working as a very effective way to silence a lot of the people that should be speaking out against this. I'm not going to name names. I would agree. I would absolutely agree. I I think that that is 100% uh, a a very valid concern you raised, Jeremy. Yep, absolutely. Now, the thing is, I think that if Jeremy was getting that kind of money, if he was one of the the selected few, and he was trying to be, he was trying to be uh, one of the select few to, to get tons and tons of money from uh, ad revenue because he's a Twitter Blue subscriber, I don't think he'd be very upset right now. And I don't think he would have made this video. Don't think so. But there's a lot of people that are now making four, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month on Twitter that are supposedly free speech advocates. Uh Uh-huh. Supposedly free speech activists. Now you might think, why don't you just delete your Twitter? Well, I stay to push back against it. Oh, it's I, because you're so noble. I wonder uh, if this is kind of like a sidelong, sidelong uh, dig at uh, Tim Pool. I wonder if Tim Pool is, uh, has commented on this. That would be interesting. Let's see if I can find out. I just leave, then all that remains are shills. And I've been actively pointing out and taking Elon that I think this is ridiculous. Now, for me as a content creator, I find... The hours spent on Twitter and or X is suboptimal and it's not good for me. Yeah, yeah. No, I need to probably... spend less time on there consuming negativity, and I've said this for a long time. <laughs> but you, the, but Remo- you keep going back and forth. You're like, nah, I need to, I need to get off of, uh, of social media because it's not healthy for me, and blah 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 blah. And then you just don't. You just don't. Like, you make up these stories about how you have, like, uh, a social media manager that's going to be dealing with it, and, like, it's totally fine, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you don't. You just come back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking. Nope. Tim Pool has absolutely not had a single thing to say about this. Yep. Yep. I think that's what Jeremy's talking about. Because Jeremy and Tim, they get they beef with each other all the time, all the time. Because they do not like each other. But it's I don't know, it's crazy. We don't have to watch this too long, but I, I just a little bit more. I want to see where he goes with this. Move the app off my phone, even because of that. But this new update is even more insane. I mean, bringing back the trust and safety department. I can't. I mean, remember all the times we were dunking on Yoel Roth and Vajaya Gotti? Who? They were in trust and safety. They were the ones who uh, said this person needs to be banned, that person needs to be banned. And by the way, they all happen to be conservative people. 
That's not true. I got banned all the time. I got banned all the time. This, like, manufactured outrage, this oppression Olympics of, like, oh, my conservative voice has been stifled. It's always been bullshit. It's never been proven. Uh, in fact, it's actually been proven in the opposite in some social media platforms as well, specifically Facebook. They were never banning, um, you know, super soilger Antifa people who were putting, you know, insane rhetoric on the platform. They weren't getting banned. Sure we were. All the time. Sure. Like, and Elon has banned some of them, too. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah, you, you're so full of it. These are the people, trust and safety, who won't allow links Dead air. to InfoWars or to BitChute or to any other... I never had a problem linking to any of those things. What do you... Just, just you're making things up. ...other sites, several other sites out there because they deem them as unsafe. By the way, these are things that have not gone away, I don't believe, on new Twitter. Yeah. New Twitter. Well, went went. All right. So, long story short, uh, Jeremy's breaking up with Elon because uh, Elon didn't give him enough ad revenue money uh, for being uh, a Twitter blue uh, simp. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, be gone, blue cuck mark. <laughs>